Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Madhouse TVs. This is uh, the Baby Love Music Hour, and we're here on the set with Terry. The singing, the singing banker. The singing banker. The singing banker. The singing banker. Terry George. Terry George and mm -hmm. her accompanist Frank uh, Doyle. Frank. Frank Doyle. Frank Doyle. Okay. Um, I'd like to uh, ask you how long you've been singing. Since I was 16, really. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, I was really a late bloomer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was About 10 years. What, what, yeah, what 10 years. created that situation to... I just didn't know at that time what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't athletic, you know, like my other uh, friends were, mm -hmm. you know, and I always you know, would sing, you know, around the house, and, you know, I always thought I was Diana Ross. I would pick up the candlestick and that was my <laughs> yeah, mic, yeah. Diana Ross. And, yeah. She and, was big. Um, oh, yeah, big, big at that time. Mm -hmm. And I, I loved Dionne Warwick also. And one time um, after school, I saw a bunch of kids outside of the auditorium, and I'm like, why is everybody standing online? They said, oh, we're auditioning for the, um, the musical Oliver. I never heard of Oliver, the musical Oliver. Mm -hmm. But they played the same song, and I remembered it and, and the lyrics. So I stood online, and wow. by the time I went up, um, and I, you know, I'll do anything for you, dear, anything. And they were like, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I was like, what's wrong? They're like, nothing, where did you come from? I was like, what do you mean? You're not in chorus, you yeah, know, yeah, we yeah, never yeah. heard of you before, yeah, yeah. you know? And I ended up getting the, the second lead role wow. at that time of Nancy's friend, Beth. And you wow. were hooked, right? And I was hooked, yeah, hooked. absolutely hooked. And okay. the following year was uh, West Side Story. Wow. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do Maria, mm -hmm. and I got the role of Anita. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which wow. was the best role that I've ever played. Wow. And um, I, also, I was in the 11th grade at that time, and I received a scholarship at the high school graduation. I wasn't even graduating, mm -hmm. but they presented me with the scholarship wow. for my role as Anita. And um, the next year, um, I got the lead as Annie and Annie Get Your Gun. Wow. Mm, so um, they had to change the words around yeah. some of the songs with the rosy cheeks and all of that stuff, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and the blonde hair, you know, that wasn't me, you know. So it was a lot of you fun. You put a wig on? <laughs> so um, that, that was really, really good. That was, that was a lot of fun. And at that time, too, we toured the, the middle schools Wow. Um, with Annie Get Your Gun. Wow. And it's it's so funny because my brother-in-laws and my sister-in-laws remember me from Annie Get Your Gun, right. and I ended up marrying their brother. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. So was yeah. that in Long Island? Or? Yeah, Bellport. Bellport. Bellport, yep. That's wow. where I grew up and graduated Bellport High School. Now, how long school. have you two been working together, Frank? We've been working together for about f six, more? Seven years. Seven, okay. Seven years, yes. And where did you yeah. meet? We had, I filled in for a piano player. Isn't that that's the way most good gigs happen? Is if the piano player that Terry had didn't show up, and I did it, and we just loved it right away. And I think you called me like a week or two later, said, yeah. "Let's do this let's again." Do, let's do it again. And we've been doing it ever yeah. since. Oh, that's since. great. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. great. It's a great thrill for me to play with her because her voice elevates my piano playing. Oh, and very you, sometimes good. with singers, it's the other way around. Right, like the right. piano player has to like push. Right. And she pushes me a lot of times, which is really exciting to play with her. Very phenomenal. good. My Very musical good. director. Very I good. couldn't do it without him. Oh, that's so yeah, well, good. I've heard you both, and I, I really enjoy listening oh, to both of you. Thank Can you. we make the announcement? Which announcement? Ah, uh, yeah, but not right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hold it. We're holding a, we're holding a secret. We have a little surprise for everybody. Okay. So. <laughs> Want to let them sing for, and we'll come back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay yeah. do your thing. We'll do a what song, song are you going to be starting off with? The first time ever I saw your face. Oh, great song. Roberta Flack. Roberta Flack. Right. Okay. Yes. Go to it. Thank you.
the first time ever I kissed your mouth. I felt the earth move in my hands like the tree. First time ever I lay with you, I felt your heart so close to mine. And last till the end of time, my love, it would last until the end of time, my love, the first time. Your face, your face, your face, your Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Frank. It seems we've met like this before. The smile, you were smiling, you were smiling then But I can't remember where or when The clothes you're wearing, you're wearing then The smile, you were smiling, you were smiling then But I can't remember where or when Some things that happen for the first time seem to be happening again it seems we met like this before and smile before and love before but who knows where or when Commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie, the president and founder of Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. I would like to personally invite you to our annual, second annual, telethon held here, right here on Madhouse TV. Did you know that nearly 80% of strokes could be prevented? By knowing the signs and getting to the hospital within a four and a half hour window, you could save your life or someone's you love life or anyone's life. Strokes do not discriminate 
who it affects, and at what time. A stroke can happen at any time and have a, play a huge impact in your life. Do you know what aphasia is? It is a result of a stroke or brain injury, which affects the ability to speak and communicate. Think about how you would feel if you cannot express yourself, even in the simplest forms. I am blessed to say that I am a stroke survivor and can humbly speak of the experience of how it feels to express myself, to not be able to express myself, and not to understand. It is Join devastating. Us. On March 20th, 2016, on Madhouse TV for our Language of Love Telethon, which supports strokes and aphasia. You can visit our website at www.languageoflovetelethon.org. Together, Together, we are lifting our voices and changing the face of strokes and aphasia around locally and around the globe. God bless you, and I'll see you on Madhouse TV on March 20th, 2016. God bless everybody. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Frank? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our show, and we thank you for tuning in. We thank the uh, engineers for making it uh, look easy. <laughs> and uh, Frank's going to play a f just as we roll out. Can he play a little bit of music? Frank, you want to sure. give us some background music? Sure. 
two. Anyway, um, oh. yeah. I need the piano on though. It's a little oh. technical thing. Could we? Could could the can piano we have go the on? Piano on. Just so we could play a little. That's it. We just want a little. You know, we just like to roll that music with. Anyway, uh, we want to thank Frank Doyle, Terry George, yeah. Claire from Far uh, Claire's Party Creation. Creations. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a that's a tongue tie. <laughs> George, aka People's United Bank Singing Banker, and um, I am thrilled uh, to once again uh, join Renee Marie and her telethon next year for stroke awareness and aphasia, and um, that's going to be March 20th, 2016, so you guys make sure you tune in, and we're going to be right here at Madhouse TV.